Hey there, people. It's like Thursday afternoon. Frickin' 10 after 1 in the afternoon. I got up super late. I got something crazy going on with my hair. I don't know. Freaking up super late last night doing things and, you know, coffee and all that. And every time I go for coffee, hey! I always screw myself over and I don't freaking wake up on time and stuff. But I'm awake now, so that's a bonus. I didn't get to bed till like 8 o'clock in the morning, so that's pretty awesome. Not really, but pretend. Holy shit. Anyway, people, welcome to my vlog. Kinda guessed what happened, and apparently news media rock star posted a, video, a link or made a website entry blog, whatever the frig they did. I'm sorry guys, I'm still a little tired. It's unconfirmed, however, they're stating that Maker Studio site hit by DDoS attack in a wake of Ray William Johnson's letter. Unconfirmed. Like they did like me, they tried to contact Makers just like JP did. He finally got a hold of Makers, was trying to find out what the frig was going on, and they're being so vague about it, just keeping it on the downsy. But it's an unconfirmed thing right now, but frig, if you did the trace routes to the site yesterday, you got to about a router in California, and it just shit the bed. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, well, if that's the case, then it's just shit in the bed. You gotta think about this. Ray William Johnson has 6.5 million son of a bitches watching him, right? And they all freaking flock him. Like, they're all like, Oh, Ray William Johnson can't do no harm, blah, blah, blah. And the moment somebody opposes Ray William Johnson, then that's it, you know? The freaking RWJ sheeps step up and start freaking throwing down and next thing you know they uh, start just denial of service attacking the living shit out of uh, makers.com makerstudios.com so yeah pretty brutal so I don't know if the site's still down today I haven't checked it's pretty crazy so all I know is is <sighs> even me I post a video you guys comment I can comment back we're having a social interaction I don't know a lot of you guys from a hole in the ground but you know we talk back and forth on on the YouTubes you guys comment on something in the video and I comment back you know like the other day when I was talking about how uh, my car gurgles more gas than it should I thought it was the car doing it because it was cold and you guys cleared it up by telling me that there's a different winter blend for gas and I didn't know that. I thought gas was gas. Didn't realize they made it. I know there's a winter blend for diesel because uh, my buddy Chuck used to have to go out and um, he would sit there, like diesel trucks for instance, they would gel up. So he'd have to sit there and heat up the tank to stop it from diesel, uh, stop it from gelling. And you'd have to add, put additives in the diesel. And apparently now at the gas stations, they already do that for you. So that's right on. But um, yeah, it's pretty dicked. Pretty dicked indeed. So. But uh, I don't know, we'll have to see what happens and all I know is it better not affect uh, anything with red light broadcasting because that network's awesome and I don't want it to go down, so frig it. Anyway, right on. Oh, big, big, big shout out to Bo Johnson. You want to know who I'm talking about? Friggin' Bo Johnson on the YouTube's TV. Big, big shout out, buddy. Big, big shout out. You guys remember this layout? Guess what, I'm not showing you the MacBook, I'm showing you the Dell XPS 8300. Yep, got the old layout back. Freedom rights. Basically, there's a video online from Desperado the Reviewer showing you how to do this. So far, I've only been able to get it to work right in Chrome, but bring it. It works, so that's right on. Um, I will post a link to the video. What? Anyway, I'll post a link to the video in the uh, description. If you uh, want to check that shit out and do it to your own version of Chrome or try it in Firefox and see if it bites. Because uh, I missed the old layout. They shouldn't have dicked with it. It was fine the way it was. You know? Love the way you lie. That makes no sense, but uh, frig it. So I'm going to make me a Donald Duck because I need a coffee. And uh, probably going to go for a cigarette because I haven't had one today. And I'm just going to give her. Let's go. My girlfriend came home from work yesterday and uh, she was playing her DS, she was laying in bed and she ended up passing out and she passed out, she said she passed out from like 6 till this morning. She's been doing that a lot lately where she gets home off of work and then she just falls asleep and sleeps for like freaking 13 hours or 14 hours. So I'm starting to question if something's wrong with her and I do recall that yesterday at work 
uh, one of the girls I work with, she said, uh, doctors recommend that um, you take vitamin D in the winter because we're not outside as much and 90% of the time it's freaking overcast like that so you don't get as much sun and you get vitamin D from the sun so when you get a vitamin D deficiency a lot like a vitamin B deficiency you get depression so I told her maybe she should go see the doctor and see what the issue is and maybe get this rectified because it could be something it could be nothing you know it could just be that you know she's mountain like there's some vitamin missing or something I don't know or it could be something critical that she's not aware of like mono or something like that I don't know well she said she already had mono and mono is like chicken pox once you get it you shouldn't be able to re-get it your body develops antibodies but yeah she just hasn't been feeling right lately sleeping like crazy and just feeling all blah and yeah and here I am running on like four hours of sleep and I'm out here talking to a freaking camera so I've been doing the vitamin D though because it helps with my, uh, my uh, what does dad call it, Sarai, not Sarai, it's just for freak's sakes. Zima, eczema, dry skin disorder. Basically, I gotta take it every once in a while. That's why if you ever see my hands in a, in a shot and they're covered in scabs and stuff, it's because I forgot to take my medication, hands dried out and bled out. So, the more you know, people, the more you know. Holy crap, I can't remember if I turned on my Keurig or not. Hope I did, because I freaking want a coffee. I got the song in the air tonight, stuck in my friggin' head, and it was so funny because uh, one of the, well, the girl I work with at work, she um, never seen the video of the wedding DJ playing the drums on that lady's boobs to uh, the drum solo in uh, in the air tonight when he's like, I remember, I remember, don't worry. And he goes, boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo, and he's like just slapping the crap out of her titties, and she never seen that. And I showed her last night, and she's like, oh my god. She goes, she probably, he probably thinks nobody can see him. He probably thinks he's behind that DJ booth. I'm like, yeah, yeah, he probably thinks that. He's not, though, because obviously somebody on a BlackBerry caught the video footage, pushed it up to YouTube, and now 2.5 million people seen it on top of other channels that it was reposted to. So <laughs> the video probably has like 7 million views by now combined. So like 7 million people saw this lady get her tits slapped the shit out of. <laughs> I think that's freaking awesome. Alrighty, well, it's not quite 3.30 yet. It's like 10 after, but I'm going to head off to the mall. I find it weird that my neighbor covers his car in tarp like normally you would cover your windows with those window things to keep the ice off of it but clearly that tarp on the front window isn't doing shit because it's falling off so I don't know if that's a solution for keeping the frost off the window or if he actually has a broken side window and his solution is tarping it up I don't know people I don't know but I'm gonna run to the mall check the P.O. box get some freaking coffee stuff head off to work so let's rock and roll and I gotta rock a piss. Alrighty, well, it's three degrees Celsius out. Apparently my door is ajar. Probably this door right here, yup. Tried to open it last night and the freaking thing was frozen. So, I guess when the ice finally thawed when it hit three degrees Celsius, she popped the door. Survey says, still shitty fuel mileage, three degrees Celsius. Let's go to the mall. Alrighty, well, I'm at the mall. There she be, busier than frig today, let me tell you. It's nuts. I love it when you're driving down the parking lot and you got a family of like six and they're walking like side by side and they're taking up the whole lane and they don't move over for a car. I love that. Anyway, let's go get let's go check the P.O. box, get some shit for coffee, and head off to work. Alright people, we got mail, we got some Christmas cards that we're gonna go through probably tonight after work. I also grabbed some shit from the pharmacy there. They had uh, like some food and stuff. So I grabbed that and I've grabbed they didn't have any whitener, but they had uh, so we're gonna find it here. Here it is. They had this shit. Flavors for coffees. This one makes it taste like French vanilla apparently. It's by Splenda. So I guess I'll give that a go for tonight. Gonna have to go to the grocery store and get some real sugar. Well, I want to get that natural, not the chemical sugar, like the actual natural one. It's kind of brown, but whatever. Anywho, it's uh, 20 to 4. I better get my ass in the work. Let's rock and roll. Made it to work with 12 minutes to spare. That's Freaking awesome. Uh, Phil Collins on the radio. The guy's a freaking genius. Loved his music in the 80s and uh, don't know if he's still producing, but he should be because the guy's a freaking awesome artist. Love his freaking vocals. The guy rocks like holy shit. Freaking love Phil Collins. Anyway, um, I'm gonna head her inside, make one of these French vanilla coffee things, and uh, just get this night over with. So let's go rock and roll. It's Thursday. I am not prime. Bonus. So uh, let's pitter patter and have at her and get this friggin thing done this is what I like to call custom parking yep custom parking 
Well, this should be fun. Oh, by the way, it's 5.45 break time. Just came outside for Sagrit. And uh, this should be interesting. Right now it is, like I showed you in the car, like three, four degrees out. They're calling for rain tonight. And then at around two o'clock in the morning, they're calling for a flash freeze. I might just put my skates on and skate to work tomorrow. What's even shittier is tomorrow the girlfriend heads down south because uh, she's got a family thing. And I'm hoping the roads aren't shit when she goes. Because if they are, son of a bitch, that's going to be a brutal drive. I, however, am staying home this weekend because i got nobody to look after scruffy, fluffy, puppy, wuppy. You know, having a dog is like having a kid. Except for kids learn to talk and Oreo just bounces a lot. But it's still like having a kid. Still a responsibility. you got to train them, you know. you got to teach them things. you got to teach them right and wrong. got to... Well, that's about the only difference. You can send a dog, well, we sent Oreo to school, so that's kind of valid, right? We had him in puppy training, or it was an obedience class and agility training. You should see a little bastard do a seesaw. That's hilarious. He gets up there and it won't go down, so he keeps walking and still won't go down, so he jumps on it and it goes down, and then he's all happy. Yeah, he doesn't weigh much. He doesn't weigh enough to actually bring the seesaw down. It's pretty funny stuff. And we bought Felix one of those cat tubes. I don't know if you've seen him at the pet store. It's like a, a felt tube and it's got a bunch of hula hoops in it for like a foundation or whatever. And when you get it, it looks like a hula hoop, but it stretches out to about, I don't know, maybe six feet or something like that. Well, Oreo plays in it more than freaking Felix. Well, he did until he destroyed it. Freaking Oreo loved that stupid tube. It was funny, but that was way before I even picked up a video camera that he was playing in that. Like, I've had that dog since 2000. Shit, when did I have that dog? He's four years, 2008 we got Oreo. And we brought him to this place for puppy training. And the last part was the agility, and she was like doing the hula hoops and stuff, and Oreo was jumping through them like on command. He just knew to do it. So she's like, can we take your dog out back to the agility course? I want to see what he does. I said, okay. So we brought Oreo up back, and sure enough, he's like going through the course perfectly. Like, you didn't have to tell him nothing. He knew to go, like, to slalom between the pegs and go up the seesaw and wait for it, and then go down the seesaw and climb up the ramp and go through the tube and jump over the little gate. Second gate, he went underneath because he couldn't jump that high, which was kind of funny. He's pretty smart from that way. He's like, why would I jump that? I can just go underneath. So he went underneath. Pretty good. You know, he's not stupid. He just plays one on YouTube. But uh, I'm just worried about his jumping because if anybody knows anything about Pomeranians, uh, they have bad knees and uh, the cartilage, I guess, fails and the knee slips out of joint and then the dog's dicked. And you can't keep that guy from jumping, from not jumping. That's all he friggin' does is bounces around like a friggin' Super Bowl all the time. So it's frig sakes. But, any hoozle. I'm gonna head her back inside and carry on with this night. And I'm on puppy babysitting duty all weekend, so we'll see what we get into. It's supposed to get cold, like I said, so enjoy the warmth while we have it. Right on. Anyway, guys. Peace the frig out. Well, people, it's 8 o'clock. Actually, no, I lied. It's 8.30. Uh, a little late on the lunch today due to uh, getting last-minute calls before time to log out. Eh, it's the way she goes. Not a big deal. But um, I uh, came to a conclusion what I'm going to do with the Northern Tech. And this decision kind of made sense after talking to a bunch of people. And I honestly didn't want to open up a new channel. And I can't upload right now to the Northern Tech. Because if I wanted to create a new channel, I'd have to basically upload to Vlogging Life and say, Hey guys, tech stuff's over here. But there's a lot of people who watch the tech stuff who don't watch the vlogs. I see name, different names on there all the friggin' time. So I was like, holy shit. So I have no way to tell these people that, yeah, everything's moved over. Over. And then a bunch of people were like, well, why don't you do like CTFXC does? And like, um, there's a bunch of channels out there, uh, Philip DeFranco, uh, they all do this where, you know, Eat Your Kimchi has it as well, where they have their main channel, which they work on, but then they have these like sub playlists where they put other videos like I'm gonna use eat your kimchi for example like on Monday they have their k-pop artist of the week and that's one show on Tuesday they have another show on Wednesday it's like they call it fat fat something like food uh, it, it's like uh, some something to do with food and food for awesome people or something like that I can't remember what it is uh, but they got all sorts of different shows now what happens is with a, with a show well it looks like a playlist but it's not because unlike a playlist a show you can subscribe to. So let's say I'm making the show, actually the show's already made, called The Northern Tech. And all the videos are gonna be in that there, and they're all gonna be scheduled to come off hold at their own time. All I literally need to do is set up every show to come off hold, and it comes off hold. Now, let's say somebody is interested in the tech, they don't give a flying shit about my vlogs, they can actually just subscribe to the show. They don't have to subscribe to the channel. They can subscribe to just the show, and they'll only get videos from that show. 
I think that's awesome. There's another YouTuber out there, I think his name is Fine Peter. He does those epic rap battles of the history. You've probably seen them, they're pretty popular. And um, he actually has, and then they go on, so if you subscribe to Fine Peter, you get these videos regardless. So if you subscribe to the Fine Peter channel, you get everything he makes. If you subscribe to the show, Epic Rap Battles, all you're gonna get is epic rap battles. That's all you'll ever get. So I think that's kind of cool, kind of a cool idea. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do a show for the Northern Tech and throw that up, put all the videos up on there. I'm not gonna, they're not gonna go all up online at once, guys. There's 122 of them for freak's sakes, so don't worry about that. I figure one a day, you know, uh, I might tame her down on the Skaven TV videos because uh, having one, well, uploading two videos a day, that's kind of insane. But if I were to upload three videos a day, you guys would probably go really insane. But I don't know. We'll see. Does the video, does the channel look a little bit less professional? Yeah. Am I a professional? No. You know, <laughs> I just do what I want, right? Still gonna do the vlogs. Still gonna do these this daily. Gonna keep on going with what I got. But uh, I'm gonna give move all the northern tech stuff over there. And then when I get a hankering to do a tech video, well, I'll just throw it up on the show. There won't be a regular scheduled update for the tech channel. But I do want to get all the videos over there and I think that would be the best idea rather than opening up a new channel because honestly Philip DeFranco was smart when he said this and somebody sent me this video tonight saying I got your solution they sent me the video and they said I got the solution to your tech and your northern tech dilemma they sent me a video where Philip DeFranco is talking about you know don't make 50,000 channels make one channel and go with it push that channel push that channel you know i got a lot of channels you guys all know this you know i got arcane fire and ice i got skaven games i got vlogging life i had the northern tech i had skaven i had mr airsoft ponage all these channels that i was running and it'd be so much easier just to combine them all into one channel but i'm going to leave arcane fire and ice where it is i'm not going to move that over even though if i did it wouldn't be a bad thing i'll talk about that in a minute northern tech might as well move it over because the channel itself is just shot. Like I said, it's so frigged up right now with copyright strikes and other infractions that when I go to upload to it, I get error messages telling me that I'm not allowed, I'm not permitted to upload to this channel anymore. So uh, I contacted YouTube. I'm waiting for a reply. Why? Because the error message is so vague. So I don't know if the channel is just that dicked that it's suspended. So I don't get a notice that it's suspended. You can still go visit the channel. I basically hit all the videos on it because I'm moving them over to vlogging life and once they're all moved over and I got it the way I want, I'm probably just going to annihilate the Northern Tech channel completely. Now of course I'm going to have the obvious trolls going, oh, you're just doing this to get more views. That's all you think about is views. I never once mentioned views. I just, you know, put it this way. The Northern Tech had 122 videos on it. That channel daily was getting close to like a thousand views a day and I barely upload to it. So obviously people like those, those videos and the heavy hitting videos were the video editing videos. And I've been told by countless people in the comments that I make video editing look easy and the way I explain myself when I'm doing the video editing, I make it sound easy and they're able to replicate what I do. So obviously I'm doing something right there and they like that. So I don't want to lose those videos because it's helping out other people to make content for YouTube and uh, figure might as well just move it to my main channel. But I expect the trolls to lash out because what else do they do besides sitting in the parents' basement eating friggin' pizza pockets and you know playing World of Warcraft and not getting a job and you know being a complete waste of society. That's what they do. But look at me, I just give it in to the trolls again. Freak's sakes, gotta quit doing that. Fuck the trolls. Now as for Arcane Fire and Ice. <laughs> oh, freak's sakes. This, this really sucks. So I got about, I don't know how many songs I got in there, probably about 100 songs or so. And uh, they all had links to download them, right? Well, the place that I was hosting the music to download them uh, kind of got busted, kind of like, uh, I'm trying to think, like, I think it was called Mega Share or Mega Something, Mega Uploads. Basically, it was one of those types of sites where people were uploading like copyright movies. I'm talking about like the shit that Sony gets mad about, you know, torrents and stuff like that. They were pushing that stuff up there and I didn't know. I, I was just looking for a place that I could put my, my music for free that I didn't have to pay for hosting or anything, just stuff it up there so people could download it. Well, little did I realize, that site took a big shit. It wasn't Mega Uploads that I was using, it was another one. And that site took a big shit, so every single link on every single Arcane Fire and Ice video is currently dead in the water, people. You can't download the music anymore. It's gone. So, now I gotta go, and this, was, this is what really sucks. I gotta go re-upload 
every single song and then I gotta go relink every single song in every single video. Yeah, we're looking at like hours upon work for that. So it's gonna be kind of brutal, but uh, you know, that's what happens when you just use a free hosting service that allows people to upload whatever the frig they want and doesn't worry about the content and then, you know, the, the government gets involved and says, yeah, I don't think so, you're done, shut you down. So, on that note, I got a lot of work ahead of me this weekend or tomorrow or whatever, to try and get that back up and running, because I didn't realize it until I got a PM on Vlogging Life saying, hey, I want to use your music. That's what it said, hey, I want to use your music. So I clicked on it and I thought, oh, he probably wanted to make sure he was allowed to. And I clicked on it and he goes, but the links don't work. And I'm like, what are you talking about? So I went over there and checked it and sure as shit, links don't work. Went to go log into the FTP uploader. Sure enough, it said I couldn't connect. So I go over to the website to see what the hell's going on. Yep, that hosting company's gone. <laughs> so I was like, son of a bitch. So yeah, it can be a lot of work there to do. So it's the way, she, it's just, you know, the way things go sometimes. And friggin', I gotta really quit saying the way she goes, because I say that about 1,500 times a vlog, let me tell you. Holy shit. But it's the way she goes. So anywho, I'm gonna head her back inside, carry on with this night. Got a lot more work to do. Yeah, guys, I am pacing. I tend to do that. Keeps the old thing up here working. I think I pretty much covered everything I wanted to say. Talked about no the Northern Tech, my plans for that. Talked about Arcane Fire and Ice being completely dicked over. Mind you, you could use a pro, like a, what the frig is it, uh, Keep It? I don't know if you ever use Keep It, or Keep Vid, sorry. There's a Keep Vid program on the internet. It's a website, and it allows you to download videos and stuff from YouTube. Well, you can use Keep Vid to download a, um, an mp3 so the audio from a video you could always do that with arcane fire and ice just make sure you copy the little snippet in the description and put it in your videos or youtube might shit the bed and give you a third party claim because without that snippet apparently that's what happens so make sure that snippet's in your description and uh, youtube should allow you to monetize your videos and all that and not worry about third party claiming you but uh yeah that's about all i got to say this time around so uh on that note i guess i'll talk to you guys either on my next break or when I get the frig out of here at midnight. So until then, peace the frig out. Alrighty, pe friggin' light. Yeah, that's better. Alrighty, people, it's friggin' midnight. Look at that. Midnight, one degree Celsius. They're saying it's supposed to rain tonight and flash freeze. So I guess I'll have to wait and see if tomorrow if the car's frozen to the driveway or not. Who knows? But uh, let's head her home. We got some Christmas cards to crack into. Christmas cards to crack into. Holy shit. Let's rock and roll. Alrighty, people, well, I'm home now. Actually, we were home for a little bit, and girlfriend, like I said, is leaving tomorrow. She's heading down south. So tonight we went for a cruise, you know, went and got a coffee. Look, there it is. Got a coffee, cruise around stuff, because she's gone. Uh, tomorrow, not coming back till Sunday, so we hung out for a bit. And um, yeah, good times. But uh, right now we're gonna do these Christmas cards, and uh, to see what's going on. I don't even know who that one's from. This should be interesting. All right, let's give her. Alrighty, so the first card here. Yes, I did pre-read it. <laughs> Just to make sure that there was no personal information on the inside and such. It reads, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Happy Holidays. Hey there, Adam. Just wanted to let you know that your vids are the best. Hope you keep on doing them. M Mike? Mike. Mike. And then down here, YouTube channel, KB1NYD. If you read the comments, you'll see this guy comments all the friggin' time. Right on. That's pretty sweet. Well, let's crack into the other one. Oh, it's the Ho-Ho-Hoser. Ho-Ho-Hoser. Right on. And inside it reads, if I can open it one-handed. Oh man, I'm so... There we go. Wishing you many joys this Christmas season and throughout the new year. Merry Christmas. Adam, I really enjoy your vids. Thanks for the hours of entertainment and Merry Christmas. Steve Ridge97 on the YouTube. Ridge97, another guy where if you read the comments, you'll see he comments on every video too. Right on. Thanks for the Christmas cards, guys. I freaking freaking love these. Right on. So that's KB1NYD and Ridge97 on the YouTube. YouTube's TV. 
However, guys, I really need to shut the vlog down. It's currently 1.44 a.m. Uh, I'm going to call her quits for tonight. I'm going to try something different with the editing tonight. I forgot I had a copy of freaking... Um, what the hell is it called? The Corel Video Studio X5. And I'm going to try and use that because I really want to see if I can render the vlog for media streaming to see if I can get around the whole needing Apple QuickTime to make your vlog upload faster. Or by vlog, I mean video upload faster. So, without further ado, I'm going to shut her down here. So if you like today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know you like the video and I like that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know what to leave in the comment section below. And as long as you're not a goof, I will respond. You guys know who the goofs are. Anyway, until next time, people, keep on vlogging. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm getting really, really, really freaking nervous right now because um, this is bullish. Bullish, you know what I'm saying? So here's hoping that they're just doing some restructuring or the internet's down and wherever Maker Studios is, which I think is in LA. Friggin' hell. Friggin' hell indeed. I don't know what's going on. I have to do some research on this one. But I desperately need desperately need a shower. I can't even talk right now because I desperately need a coffee as well. So I'm going to go jump in the shower and then we'll uh, freaking rock and roll. Let's do this. Alrighty, had a shower. All cleaned up. Purple shirt. Purple shirt. Uh, 